First at 10, there's now a five vote difference between the Republican candidates for the 117th district as Luzerne County began to look at disputed ballots today. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Larie. Fox 56's Josh O'Coolum watched the process this afternoon and joins us now live from Wilkes-Barre. Josh. Yes, and, yes, Ann and Aaron, over 200 votes were uploaded today, with 11 being for the 117th district, decreasing the gap between the candidates by three votes. Things are going very well. Our election board is very, very thorough. Um, as, as you witnessed today, they, they do make sure to check and recheck everything in order to ensure that if a vote should be counted, it is counted. Today, the Luzerne County Election Board focused on mail-in ballots being certified and rejected, with 217 ballots being accepted countywide. Challenger Jamie Walsh added four more votes, while current representative Mike Cabell added seven votes. I spoke to both campaigns today before today's numbers came out. Walsh watched the process today and while he was dissatisfied with the inability to see what was going on closely and some of the decisions from the election board, he is confident that he will hold the lead. I, I feel really good because my campaign was out really early. Uh, we were out in January notifying people that I was running. I feel like we were, people knew why I was running, what issues I was running on. And uh, I feel like the advantage is going to be only increase my lead today. Cabell was not present today, but like Walsh, had an attorney present. When it's an eight vote differential, it's yeah. virtually a tie in terms of you know, when you have, you still have a lot of ballots outstanding. So um, I think he's just eager to find out what the final result is. Um, but he's in good spirits. The adjudication process will continue on Monday with the 140 provisional ballots left uncounted. And Luzerne says they will continue to keep the public updated. Uh, and so now there'll be some slight fluctuations in our, our total votes cast and so on and so forth over the next few weeks as the board continues to uh, process those ballots and, and make sure that each vote that should be counted is counted. Now Walsh says of these 140 votes, he assumes about 18 will be for his race. Reporting live, Joshua Coolum, Fox 56 News, First to 10.